Welcome to our sampling video brought to you by eDNA Frontiers at Curtin University, Perth, Western Australia. Here we will describe the basics of filtering water for environmental DNA analysis. We will take you through how to effectively filter them onto membranes prior to sending them to us. The filter pump is contained in the transporter pelican case. Inside is the pump, the funnels, filter base, and the tubing. Take the pump out. This can be run on its inbuilt battery or it can be connected to a power cord. Remove a collection funnel and filter base and place these into a tub of 10% bleach solution to sterilize them prior to any water filtration. They will need to be immersed in bleach solution for 15 minutes. While the funnel and base are soaking, set up the pump. Take the connector and tubing and open the casing as shown. Insert the connector into the top of the pump and feed the tubing through the peristaltic system. Close the casing to hold the tubing in place. After 15 minutes of the funnel and the filter base soaking in the bleach, remove the items and transfer them over to the rinse water to remove residual bleach from the apparatus. This needs only to be a rinse, but make it thorough enough to ensure the bleach is gone or it may degrade the DNA in the sample. Connect the filter base to the pump system via the tubing connector as shown. Forceps are used to place the filter membrane onto the pump. These also need to be sterilized with 10% bleach and rinsed with water. Use 50 ml tubes and soak the forceps in bleach for 15 minutes before rinsing. Take a filter membrane and open the packaging, taking care not to touch the membrane with your gloves. Separate the filter membrane from the blue paper backing using the clean forceps. Note that the filter membrane may have a grid pattern on one side. Carefully place the membrane onto the filter base with the grid side facing upwards. Place the forceps back into the bleach to soak. Take the funnel out of the rinse water tub and place this onto the filter base. The filter base and funnel are magnetic, so you should feel a secure connection placement. Now that your pump is ready, take your first water sample to be filtered from the cold storage. Remove the lid and pour the liquid into the funnel to approximately three quarters full. Replace the sample lid and turn the pump on. After some time, the water level will drop. This will vary depending on the turbidity at your site. When it drops to a low level, then top the funnel back up with the remaining sample in the container. When the water volume completes filtration, stop the pump. If the water is very turbid and the filtration of a single sample takes longer than 30 minutes, the membrane may be clogged. Stop the pump and record the volume of water filtered on the sample sheet. You may discard the remaining water sample. Remove the funnel from the pump. Use clean forceps to fold the filter membrane on the base and crease it by pressing gently down. Place the folded membrane into a sample bag labeled with a unique sample name and the date. It is important that the filter membrane is placed directly into an esky with ice bricks or straight into a freezer. If the filter membranes are not kept cold, then the DNA will degrade. Place the used funnel and filter base back into the bleach tub to soak for 15 minutes. Record all sample details onto the sample submission sheet. 